Hello everyone, Okie Drones here. I've been asked by a few people to show how I mount my Firefly 7S to my Solo Gimbal. There's just a couple of things that you'll need to do this in a real quick and inexpensive way. The first thing you'll need is some backer board from Walmart or any other discount store. This can be found with the poster board. It is about an inch, an eighth of an inch thick and costs under $2. What you will do from this point is you will cut out a small square of the backer board that will fit down into the back of your gimbal. The purpose of this is to raise the back of the camera flush with the clip and the port that normally goes on your GoPro. The Firefly camera is nice in that the ports match the GoPro exactly. The HDMI port is in the exact same place as the GoPro on the side of the camera would be the left side of the camera when it's facing away from you. That port, once you plug the camera in, will serve as an anchor for this side of the camera. The next thing you'll need is a strip of Velcro about a half inch thick. Once again, I purchased this at Walmart it came in a pretty big roll of one inch thick. I simply cut it down to a strip just around a half to a little over a quarter to a half an inch. And the purpose of this will be to hold the opposite side of the camera flush in the gimbal. Here is the way I mount it. I take the backer board piece that I cut and slide it into the back of the gimbal. From this point, I take the gimbal and plug it in to the HDMI port. Once the camera is plugged into the HDMI port, you will squeeze it like this until it's flush against the backer board and run the gimbal or the Velcro strap around this side of the camera. Here is the camera with the Velcro strap in place. You'll notice the clip just simply pushes to the side. Another thing you'll need to note is balancing the gimbal. I used the weights that came with the gimbal itself. You'll have to just experiment a little depending upon the weight of your camera. Now due to the fact that you will not have camera control, you must always remember to start your camera and start it recording before you actually begin your flight. You will know the Firefly is recording because the light is flashing on and off. I always double check once I take off to make sure that the camera is flashing. I've managed to get a couple of flights in where I thought I was recording and actually got back and had no footage. As you see, the gimbal functions properly with the Firefly in place. You have full motion up and down just like with the GoPro. I hope that helps. As I said it's a very simple solution, not very expensive. It takes only a couple of minutes to do. Uh, if your camera happens to have a port in a different place uh, you will need to get an additional HDMI cable to be able to plug it in and it may take some additional uh, spacing um, however, if you can find a camera like the Firefly that has the ports in the same position or close to the same position, it'll go much easier for you. This camera was $66, I believe, on GearBest. Uh, it comes with all of the uh, mountings. It shoots 4K. It takes, uh, takes decent pictures in good light. Uh, it is a little sketchy in the dark or in the, the twilight, but uh, as far as uh, a good inexpensive solution. It's a great way to go. Thanks and happy flying guys.